Hi there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please push the bell icon so you will receive notification of all my regular uploads. It is bits and bobs time again and today's envelope was sent to me by a family friend, dear Elizabeth, and let's take a look to see what she sent my way. Again, I will be working on one of my chipboard journal pages. I already added gesso to it. And here are some of the goodies I received. There is a nicely packaged prayer flag, something very unusual. This one definitely has Tibetan writing on it. Now, I wouldn't want to use it in its entirety, neither do I want to cut it up. So I think this will go into some other project. This definitely reminds me of my time in Nepal as these prayer flags fly all across Kathmandu Valley. So here is a piece from a brochure, I guess. It's from a sushi restaurant. So it has this nice quote and whale tail. There are some metal coins. There is a little bag with a little design on the front. It's made from craft paper. There's another little clothes tag with a circular design. There is an empty box. Mm -hmm. And there is one of those wristbands you get when you go to a concert, I guess. So yeah, those are very unusual pieces. And I think I will start with the whale tail.
now it's time for some finishing touches and I start by adding Mod Podge to the whale tail. Now the tail had some great little designs on it but one piece or one flipper was missing. So I had to draw all that in and the sealer will help protect the pens I used. Next I also added to the craft paper just to give it a bit of a shine. Now I had a lot of fun with this collection and I really like the little quote that came with it. It says, it is not on any map, true places never are. And I think this UFO or alien city fits right in with that thought. I'm also happy the way the ocean came out and the different blue colors I took from the piece of paper that whale was printed on. I also like the little plants on the bottom taking from the cardboard. It gives it a bit of texture. Now I used pretty much everything that was given to me. This prayer flag will go into some other special project. I also have left some coins and a tiny piece from the wristband. So thank you very much Elizabeth for playing along in this challenge. Thank you to you for coming. See you soon again and bye bye for now. Now.